This is about free mulch and what kind of mulch you can expect. Sometimes you get some really nice mulch like this right here. It's chopped up very nice. We like it. It'll break down real fast for us. And if you look over here, sometimes you get some real stinkers where they don't even do all the work. So when you get free mulch, just beware because sometimes it's not always as nice as you think it's going to be. Uh, things that we like to do, we like to spread it out on fields before we plant it. And yeah, just be wary of where you get the What kind of pathogens could be in your free mulch? Oh, okay. Well, that's actually a good question because there's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad pathogens in your free mulch. The most notorious one is a disease that attacks maples. So when you have mulch for maples, just be careful of where it comes from and make sure that the wood chips itself are not maples because that is, that's a real serious problem that they have. But you could have a healthy maple in your landscape and you put mulch around it, you could actually be infecting that tree and dooming it to die and dooming any other maple in the soil whose roots can grow into that soil where the mulch is at to die for the next seven years. So if you have maples, be wary about where the mulch comes from and make sure it's not from a maple that has already died. Okay, now we're here in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. What other bugs could be present in mulch? Uh, well, there's you can have larvae go into it. Um, could you get the emerald ash borer from mulch? That's how they do spread. I don't, it is found in Montgomery. Okay. Last year. I don't know if it's up here. But yeah, and how about thousand canker disease if you're getting mulch that's from walnut trees? That's true. You can do that too. That's also in Bucks County. That's also a fungus though, but you're not supposed to be witching. <laughs> yeah, okay, but right. you, so you do have to be careful with your mulch. That's right. Yeah. And at Highland Hill Farm, we normally don't sell mulch, so we don't have any dog in this race, correct? That's right, yeah. Okay, so when we plant our trees, do we bring mulch or well, how do we usually do it? We usually don't. We usually make a little bed around it so there's no grass growing up around the trees, but if you wanted to put mulch around it, that would be something for you to do, not for us Okay, and that helps us avoid liability for... That's right, and then everybody getting upset about how much mulch you actually spread or if it's too much or not enough. All that issue can be settled by somebody else. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. At Highland Hill Farm, we have lots of trees and shrubs for you to come and see. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We do deliver and plant what we grow and sell to East Coast states. We ship from Fountainville, PA, Milan, PA, and Lenore, North Carolina. We have a wide range of trees, from seedlings to large 20-foot trees and taller. And we can deliver and plant them for you. We can sell them in many different ways, potted, bare root, or bald and burlapped. So don't be afraid to give us a call if you need help on tree selection or send us pictures of your site for us to evaluate. Just call 215-651-8329 or email me at bill at digatree.com. That's dig as in dog, digatree.com. We're here to help you. Thank you.